And their captain? Hello, I'm Trisha Goggin. Hello, I'm Trisha Goggin. And I'm doing a PhD in biomedical engineering. I work at the Biomedical Imaging Unit based at the hospital, which is part of the Faculty of Medicine. In 2014 and 2015, I was the captain of Southampton's University Challenge team. And I love quizzes, I've always loved quizzes. So when I came back to be a student at Southampton, um, I decided that one of the first things I would do was try out for the team. And I was so surprised in my very first year to get on the team and then be the captain. So it was really a dream come true. It was a fantastic experience. It was a real honour. It was brilliant to be representing Southampton because it was my first real year as a student. And people seemed to not know a huge amount about Southampton. And I think it built, started to build Southampton's reputation as a quizzing university. So there was a team before us in 2012, which were really good. And then ever since then, we've had a really good showing all the way through. And it's helped, I think, to to cement the, the reputation of Southampton and the success that's come after us. There's a funny thing that happens when you get in there and you're in the chair and the music starts, you forget you're on television, or I forgot I was on television. It was just like uh, an ordinary fun quiz that we were having together. What was good about our team is that we were two females and two males, and that's quite unusual in University Challenge. And the match we played before this, it was me and Sarah, and the other team was four women. So it was a real majority women's thing, which was so unusual. I also was truly amazed by how much knowledge the really young people I met through this have. I've kind of accumulated knowledge because I'm older, but Roland, for example, was only, only just 18 at that time and had such a fund of knowledge, it was incredible. Oh, I do know it. Oh, I have my head in my hands, that's terrible. <laughs> oh, when you know, you know it and you can't remember it. That's really annoying. And you can't go back on again. So even if I were to go back to the university and be a student again, they don't let you go back on twice. Three and a half minutes to go. Oh yeah, and they were about 70 points ahead. They were so good that you couldn't feel, we didn't feel bad. We felt like we'd been properly beaten. And we did well to get that far. It's late to wish them luck because it's all done and over with, but um, <laughs> I wish the current team, Dom and the rest of them, the best of luck. We hope to see them go further into the rest of the series.